Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. We are going to be talking about how to use just your phone in more detail to capture better videos. So let's get to it. But today we're going to focus just on the phone. We're going to talk about the proper settings for your phone, the best way to film along with the use of external microphones and a phone holder so that you can get better quality videos. So we're going to talk about how to get better footage with your phone using the back side of the cameras. Last time we used the front facing camera and you saw how the picture quality wasn't the best. So this time we're going to go with using the best lenses on the cameras, which are on the back side of the phone. By doing this, you're going to get better quality videos. First thing you want to do is make sure your lens are clean. Everyone's on their phone and you got fingerprints and everything. Just, you know, give it a quick wipe and clean it really well so that you get the best possible footage coming out of your phone. The next thing is use a tripod or some kind of stabilizer, which this is all in one. As you can see, we showed you guys this before in a different video. This is the Ulanzi, and I forget the model number. And I'll put this in the description below. So you can have it as a tripod. It's like a selfie stick, so it's you can pull it out. You can use it for a regular camera like Ruth does. But then the best part is it has phone holder. With this, you can put your phone right in it. Now you have a way to keep your image more stable. Remember, using this, there's even gimbals, and we'll talk about those later on but for now this is a good way to start you can buy just a piece like this that can mount on a big regular tripod and you can get better quality videos overall by doing just doing this remember the new iphones have the stabilization built in like a gopro and it works really well but if you don't have that then one of these will work just as fine one of the other things to talk about is filming styles right a lot of tiktokers out there a lot of stories shorts youtube shorts if you have a normal regular youtube channel then horizontal is the way otherwise you want to go vertical so that would be like this and let's get the camera fired up here so you can see here that's vertical then you can move it in the horizontal position now you have a way to film regular youtube videos so keep that in mind when you're filming your content make sure that you have the proper either vertical or horizontal in mind when filming your content the other thing to talk about is the resolution right the resolution on most phones is 1080p or 4k 1080p is going to be plenty with file sizes that are a little smaller okay when you jump up to 4k looks a little crisper better but your file sizes will be bigger just keep that in mind now let's talk about frame rate frame rate is how many frames per second your phone will capture you can go 24 frames per second 30 frames per second and some phones will even do 60 frames per second 60 frames per second is when you want to capture slow motion Okay, I know it gets confusing because it's you're recording at a higher or a faster frame rate, but what you can do is you slow that down and you have a nice smooth slow down instead of it being jittery, kind of when you're slowing it down. Me personally, I like 24 frames per second because it's more cinematic. When you go to 30 frames per second, that's more like your soap opera, right? Live video, like football games, that kind of thing. Those are kind of like 30 frames per second. It's more live. You don't get the motion blur. It's not as cinematic. So keep that in mind. All you got to do is go to go to settings, camera, record video, and choose the best resolution that fits what you're trying to do. All right. So now you have your phone. You have it mounted on your phone mount. Oops. The other thing you want is you want a good microphone. Having a microphone is very key. As you saw in... The last video, when we talked about the different types of cameras to start a YouTube channel, you can hear everything. iPhones are great, but they pick up everything. Sometimes you don't want that. If you're talking, vlogging, you want a, a microphone like this. This is a Boya. It's a small microphone. 
and it does have a dead cat. You won't hear the wind sound as much as you heard it on that last video. I did that on purpose. I did not use anything. I wanted you guys to see the difference between not using a microphone and using a microphone. You put the dead cat on there, and then here's an issue that a lot of people will have. You can't connect your microphone to your phone. So what you need is an adapter like this. This adapter you can buy on Amazon for about 10 to 15 bucks. It will plug in the microphone, okay? And then you can plug in into your lightning port, charging port. Now you have your phone connected to an external microphone, and you're going to get the best sound quality you possibly can. It has a, a, a mounting shoe right here where you can take the microphone and put it. Now, if you're talking to, to the camera, remember, you don't want to use the front-facing camera. You want to use a rear-facing camera. Dude, these are better cameras than the little one you get up here. That's why you saw that that footage was grainy and a little dark with a lot of noise. And noise is that little particle grainy looking stuff. If you're talking to the camera on yourself like this, then you got to make sure you flip that microphone towards yourself, okay? So that you get better sound. The other thing is locking your exposure. So let me show you how that works. If you take your phone... You tap it, but then you hold it. See there, it says A lock. So auto exposure and auto focus lock. So now it's not gonna change on you. It's gonna stay the same. So the sky is blue, it's gonna stay blue. When you move your phone sometimes and you're filming, right? What happens is the exposure changes and the focus changes. So your phone's always adjusting to get the best quality picture that you possibly can do that a you know the autofocus and auto exposure lock and that way you get a nice clear videos good lighting is another thing you guys want to think about if you are in a dark area phones are not the greatest for it so i would suggest a little light like this this is my aperture mc okay comes with this soft gel that diffuses the light it can be adjusted to any color, red, blue, green, purple, red, pink, yellow, whatever. But it's also white. So you see here how harsh the light is, right? But if I put the gel on there, now it makes it a little softer, okay? So this thing's 100 bucks. Get on Amazon. Is is magnetic. Let me shut this off so I don't blind myself. It's got magnets so you can stick it to metal surfaces. It does have a place where you can mount it to something like this. You may mount it on there, and now you got somewhere to put a light, a little light stand. These are great. Again, 100 bucks, but it's well worth it. It's rechargeable, and it's got an app on your phone that controls everything, which is awesome. We're going to talk more about these kind of lights and the types, different types of microphones later on in this series. You, you can find a billion YouTube videos on these subjects, these are my experiences and my suggestions for you to try to make it as easy as possible. Now we have our full setup and we're ready to shoot. We have a special guest. This is Linda. And Ruth is going to take you and talk to her about how she films her adventures of hiking the Appalachian Trail with just her phone. She doesn't even use microphones or lights or anything. Just her phone. Sometimes she clips it on herself or she just walks with it. So let's check it out. And because we're talking about how to get better video and content from your phone, we have the wonderful Linda Engel. Her trail name is Pacifier. Pacifier. And she has a YouTube channel called Old Ladies Hiking North. North. Old Ladies Hiking North. So you guys go and subscribe. And guess what? She does all her video and content from her phone editing recording everything from her phone <laughs> so tell us a little bit about your, your channel and how you use your phone to record well it is a hiking video um because i'm doing the appalachian trail um but i do use my phone because there again you don't need uh you don't have time to edit and do everything so i'm not as good as y'all are about editing so therefore i use my phone for everything for huh? everything yes basically i get a app called my movie 
my movie. It's an app. We're going to put it in the description. And it's free, uh, but you can pay money if you want to, if you want to get more professional. But you need, but you use You the, don't need it. Not right. You don't right. need it. Or I don't need it. Right, right. <laughs> but what you can do is, uh, what you do is you go in there, you video all day, and after I get through, I come back to camp, and then I just go to my photos, and I hit, or my gallery, and I hit how I want to do them in order. So I just press them, hit them in order, and then it says um, upload. So you upload it, and then uh, save it to your phone, and then the next thing you know, it comes up and says, do you want to share it? And it gives you opportunity to share it. To I YouTube. can share it to you, YouTube. Right. Uh, whatever I want to share it to. There and you you've been doing this for how many years now? Uh, since 2018. Just goes to show you that you don't need expensive camera equipment or editing equipment to have a successful YouTube channel. Linda here is proof as, of that. And as a backpacker, you don't want to carry anything extra. So exactly. you carry your phone and you're going to carry it anyway for uh, for emergencies, for emergencies right. and right. whatever. So. so there you have it, guys. That's proof that you don't need an expensive camera and don't forget go and subscribe to linda's channel old ladies hiking north, north on the appalachian trail on the appalachian trail and if you haven't hit the subscribe button for this channel you need to do it because adrian <laughs> and ruth are so much fun and they're they're doing all kinds of stuff for you guys they're not just doing rv and they're they're trying to teach you and help you as they go along, as they learn things about, uh, go hit that, go hit, hit that subscribe button, that button and give them a thumbs up. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right. So see, anybody can use just a phone to get this stuff done. Make sure you guys give her a like and a follow, and it's a good way to see that you can do this without anything but just your phone. See here, you got these grid lines. Those grid lines will help you film whether you're doing vertical or horizontal you could have your subject in the middle or at the cross lines i like to have them here at the bottom and if you have a moving shot of a car or a bike or someone walking it's a good way to practice keeping this if you guys need help with anything we talked about today please let me know in the comments below if not you can go to rv life productions to our website and our emails are there you can shoot us an email and I'll get back to you with, uh, you know, any help I can give you. We're doing these videos because this is something I love to do. And we want to be able to help anybody else that's interested in cameras, photography, videography, and video editing, and, and then, you know, content creation. Thank you for watching. We appreciate the time. And hasta la próxima. And as Ruth was saying, you